A controversial bill being heard at the Ohio State House is being blocked by state representatives on both sides of the aisle. We have been telling you about Senate Bill 83, which would impact public universities to prevent what the GOP calls bias. It's resulted in months of protest. Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trout tells us the House Speaker is ending this fight for now with House Republicans and Democrats coming together. A bill that garnered some of the most negative feedback in recent state history is likely dead. We're glad to see that the brain drain bill may be on its way out. Senate Bill 83 would ban public universities in Ohio from having so-called bias in the classroom and limit what controversial topics can be taught. But OSU professor Dr. Pranav Jani says some of the most troubling aspects were the elimination of tenure and the anti-striking provision. But now, House Speaker Jason Stevens says the bill doesn't have enough support. Oh, it doesn't have the votes. But when asked if the bill was completely dead or if he was still trying to move it forward. Well, I don't know that I'm trying. <laughs> there are a lot of concerns with that bill from both sides of the aisle, frankly. This came as a shock to bill sponsor State Senator Jerry Serino. I think there is uh, tremendous support in the House. You don't believe that the speaker has much personal knowledge of what's in this bill. This bill is now on its 11th draft, and Serino says he has made compromises, such as taking out the no striking provision. Serino says he and Senate President Matt Huffman will be fighting for the bill, but won't be as accommodating next time. When you make concessions, and the folks who say, if you make these concessions, I'll vote for it, but they don't, well, then the concessions don't end up getting made in the future. Johnny remains cautiously optimistic. If they want to go back to the original version, we fought that already. We feel pretty confident. And you'll fight it again. And we'll fight it again. The bill is scheduled to be heard again Wednesday, even though Stephen says there isn't enough support in the House to move it forward. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trout reporting.